My fellow Metalbots, for too long, we have barely been in any videos. We deserve to be in as many videos just as everyone else should, so the time has come. We fight back! Gold Squadron, charge! charge! Silverbots, let's go! Bronze Bros, let's do this! Charge! Copper Army, let's go! Ah! Uh... Reporting for duty! Oh right, there's only been one Copper Stick Bot, so there is no Copper Army. That's right, the Clickbot Metalbots are finally here. Or Clickbot Villains, as they're labeled. You are bad guy, but this does not mean you're bad guy. So let's go ahead and start off by looking at the box. So here's what it looks like with the different colors on the front. Here's the side, which is pretty much the same as before, except it's missing the stick bot on the side. And the back of the box, which is pretty similar to the old one as well, as it tells you all their names and stuff. The suction cup pan, clip hands, and the clip hands, all their names, ba Blaze, Warp, Bash, Thrash, and... Oh! Click separator? I'm interested in that. And it looks like they made sure to let you know that the instructions are inside, so... Looks like Zing's watching my videos. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this guy and open him up. Oh, here it is, the click separator. Ooh. And the click bot. Oh, and those instructions are behind the little background right here. Now let's go ahead and open up the rest of these guys, but in fast motion. Alright, everything is in the box now. And we got quite a lot of stuff to unpackage here, so first let's go ahead and take the clickbots themselves to the turntable. So the first one we got here is Warp, the gold clickbot. He's very shiny and nice in this super cool lighting. Next we got the metal clickbot. His name is Thrash, or silver clickbot, I don't know. And this is a really nice color scheme, I am in love with it. Makes him look like a robotic sort of clickbot. And it's very shiny and I like it a lot. Next we got Copper, once again a very shiny, sparkly color. I like this one a lot, his name is Bash. And finally there is Blaze, a copper stick bot. Now he's not as shiny as the bronze one or the silver one, but he's still a good color nonetheless. One of the most exciting new additions to these metal click bots is that they now come with armor. And basically they come with the same stuff as the weapons, you just peel them off so and now we've got two little armor plates so we're just gonna attach them right here so let's just attempt to get this on real quick uh it should be easy come on come on come on okay it's harder than i thought so i've been struggling for a bit but the best method i found is to just do it into the ground like this it does not help that these armors are literal spikes and it kind of hurts to put them on but here they are Shoulder pads, or yeah, I guess these could go anywhere. They could probably go on here, around the legs, on the side. But they can be adjusted, like so. They stay locked in position pretty well, I guess. There is also uh, body armor right here. And this pretty much works like the back armor little things from the other click bots. It just attaches in the front. That looks pretty good. I guess it could also be used as back armor. Although you can't have two at once, I guess. You can only have one in the front or one in the back. Let's go ahead and put the shoulders on as well. Shoulder armor. These ones should be less... These are less spiky shoulders, so they should be easier to get on. Although I might need to put it through the ground again. Yeah, we're going through the ground again, sorry. So after four minutes, I finally got the shoulder pads on. And these are not leaving a good impression on me, at least. They look cool, but... They are incredibly hard to put on, and also one thing I've noticed is that it's kind of hard to... They're, they're limiting the movement of the arms uh, going up and down. See how it's, it's pretty tough now. I think they're kind of forcing it in. While if you were to do it without the shoulders, it's effortless. But uh, with the shoulders, it takes a lot more effort to get them to go up, so... I like these shoulder armors, don't get me wrong, but there is no reason that these need to be limiting the movement 
of the click bots, and I'm worried that if I leave them on and try to, while I'm animating, moving the arms up and down, will they break? That's a very concerning thing about these shoulder pads, so I don't know about them. The chest plate armor is still really good though, especially uh, the silver, no, the bronze one. Uh, this one is really cool and it actually kind of curves along his body. I don't know if you can see it, but it curves along with the top, which is really neat. I like this. This, this is probably my favorite armor set right here, the bronze one. Before we move on to the weapons, let's go ahead and try out the click separator, because as you know, some weapons need to change arms in order to work. Except this one, which here could work on the arm like this. But let's go ahead and try it on this other arm. So basically, we take, uh, go like this, I think. And now we're just gonna put this under here. And we just press down, like so. I think we got it good. And, oh, look at that. Instant arm off. That's amazing. That could have saved me hours of pain trying to take these off. Wow. Now I just put on a new one. Let's go ahead and try to take this one off immediately as well. Just press down. Yes! Oh my gosh, this is amazing! This is the best thing in this set. Wow. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the weapons now. So the gold one comes with this sort of machine gun weapon, which can go in either its hand or on this thing. And then there's also one more weapon, which is really cool, that you actually build. It's the drill, and I at first thought that the drill was just sort of like this, but it's actually a moving drill so that I could spin for your animations. That is awesome! So I guess we can just put this right here. And now, it's got a drill that spins, which is awesome. I am definitely looking forward to using that for an animation. Next, Silver has another unique uh, buildable weapon, which is sort of this ball and chain, which you build like this by adding the red pieces together. And then you add a little bit at the end. And look at that. So this can bend in some awkward positions. It, it works. It's bendable. And then this just goes in his hand, I believe. Like so. And now, we got ball and chain. That is cool. Although, from a stop motion perspective, I think it would have made a lot more sense if instead of the click bot parts, that these were ball joints. And ball joints could just swivel around and make it a little easier to animate. It'd probably look better. I don't know. Next, copper comes with two weapons this sort of, I guess, gun here, which could be attached by hand or on the side. I guess it's like a little flamethrower sort of chemical shooter, I don't know. And then this other, I guess, gear sort of sword weapon gun? I don't know what this is. And this just goes on the side like this. It's a little hard to get on because it's kind of spiky. But there it is. Like so. Looks alright. Finally, there's Big Boy Bronze Bash who comes with his Big Boy Hammer right here. It is humongous, and it is awesome. And also, this little pistol right here, which can be attached by the arm. Both weapons can be attached by the arm, but I like to do the hammer here, as it allows for a little bit more you know, swing, more movement options, basically. We might as well do some color comparison to other uh, metal bots while we're here. So, the closest color that this click bot resembles is not actually the original metal bot that released. It's actually the goodie bag silver metal bot. It's, this color is like glitter silver, so this one kind of has glitter in it, this one has no glitter. And then this one here is the action pack uh, transparent gray one, and then this is the castle movie set gray, and the rhino is the same color as the solid here. Now for gold bots, the closest color that resembles this click bot is the castle movie set gold bot, so it's not the, uh, this is the original metal bot, or the goodie bag metal bot, and the transparent gold right there. Although I think this click bot's gold is a new sort of color plastic, as it's a little bit lighter than this one. Now for bronze, there's actually two different bronze stick bots. There is the original metal bot brown, 
and then striker, bronze, not, not brown, bronze. And I'd say the closest one that resembles the clickbot would be the original metalbot, bronze. And then there's copper, which has unfortunately only gotten one stickbot before, which is from the original metalbot series. And they are not exactly the same, at least compared to this clickbot. So this clickbot is a new copper color, as this one is a little darker, and this one's a little bit more lighter. So I've got all the clickbots here, all with their weapons and armor, and I just gotta say, the weapon and armor variety, everything in Series 2 is amazing. Series 1 kind of had some weird weapon balance, like not every clickbot came with a good weapon or armor or anything. And, uh, no, Series 1 didn't even come with any armor, but now we got Series 2 with every clickbot getting armor and unique weapons, which is awesome. And also the clickbot separator. I wish this was here when the original clickbots, the first wave, came out, but I'm glad it's here now. And this is on its own pretty worth getting these guys for. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the final score. And boy do I have some things to say about these. They're pretty good. Most of these points are stuff that I already said in the Series 1 clickbots, but let's go ahead and begin. These metal clickbots are great figures with awesome colors and tons of articulation. They've got suction cups under their feet, which is helpful for animating and they are still fun and satisfying to play with. And they each come with good weapon and armor variety, which is good. And the new addition of the click separator makes swapping interchangeable parts very easy, and it's super addicting to play with. And the only downside I'd give this wave is that the shoulder armor is hard to attach, and it makes the arm movements a little stiff. One more note I'd like to add that won't subtract or add any points is that I think that these clickbots should have extra body parts that should be added in the sets that should be included in case one breaks, for example. So my final score for the clickbot metalbots is 9.5 out of 10, and my personal recommendation is get it. If you have and use clickbots and stickbots, you need this set, especially for the new click separator. So that was my review of the clickbot metalbots. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and share with a friend, and also comment down below what you think of the new ClickBot MetalBots, and also which ones are your favorite. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.